Hey guys, if you're a keen car driver or sports car driver, especially if you live in the US, you will be all too familiar with these gadgets people want to take. Um, they, well, they're meant to imitate the signals of, um, of LIDAR, pulse LIDAR guns and uh, if you want to buy one of these, point it at your radar dashboard, radar, radar laser detector, that's fine, it shouldn't do any harm, but uh, believe me, I've met with plenty of people, probably, it's probably going into the dozens, who have bought these, paying what, $40, $45, $50, and the two other types I've tested, and they put them on an oscilloscope, and it's and all, all the emits are a minute AC signal, spike signal, which is sufficient to set your uh, laser te detector off, no problem at all. But the vast majority of the signal is a pure light, DC infrared light. And if you point this at any any laser jammer, even the ones that this particular guy sells, you will, within two or three seconds or less, destroy the heads. You, you will drive them, you will overload the heads chronically because as I say it's a pure DC signal so it will basically just try and switch on the LEDs to maximum power certainly with a laser I mean this, this, this you can't do this even if it's current regulated um, it may not be as bad with four LEDs in each one of the ALP heads maybe it can withstand it for a little while but they're just unsafe they're just cheap, tacky, probably 50 cents to make in China, and they are inherently hazardous to any, um, to any certainly laser jammer. I don't know about, I don't know about, uh, I don't know about the ones equipped with LEDs, like the ALPs. Perhaps they're not as vulnerable, so I didn't get away with it a bit. Um, as I say, good fun to be had by testing out, checking out your, uh, Radar laser detector responds to certain minute signal on this, but um, certainly be very careful. Maybe with LED heads, you can get away with it. But I know from experience that I've told people, I've, I've um, advised people not to use these damn things. And, and oh, he's talking about the rubbish, that limey guy. Oh, well, I'll use it anyway. I'll just claim it back on the warranty until he realises that in the small print it says, self-testing is classed as abuse and it's not allowed so if you want to if you want to point this at your um <laughs> at your led equipped alp that's fine you'll, you'll probably get away with it anything more powerful like the ones i've made in the past and making in the future uh they, they have a potentially very powerful laser diode and even you know, even the best will in the world even if i limit the current to keep the output power down the pure flat line, basically flat line DC infrared, is has a good chance of destroying your jammer, your blind or your ALP. So please be warned, guys. There's plenty, plenty of people have warned and they thought, oh, he's talking rubbish in. And then a couple of days later, oh, it's not working. What have I done to it? He said it would be all right using one of these. Mm -hmm. Of course he did, because then when you burn it out, he's the main salesman in the US. So you've got to buy another one, haven't you? If you really love your Audi or your Tesla. So be warned, guys, please. Uh, I've had these on a scope, on a hand-tech scope. And you don't mean to tell me, on, on this guy's video on the Rocky Mountain, he, he, has, a, he has a scope app on his iPad. So he's definitely, definitely checked at some stage. As I, as I said, perhaps with the low-powered four LEDs per head on the ALP, will get away with it. But certainly with more powerful jammers you probably won't so okay for radar detectors bit of a no-no for laser jammers because uh, you'll probably destroy them i'll let you go guys uh, have a look have a look i'm after ditching my uh, my traitorous ex-partner who sent me password and what have you over to america for him to steal my google account and now she's out of the way i'm starting to remake my uh, my um my laser transponders which uh, i mean the likes of those were more, were more powerful output laser certainly these would be you know potentially very damaging 
even if I limit the current and limit the duration and uh, you know shift the plugs no guarantee these things won't destroy your laser gamma okay. I've got no vested interest other than to warn you guys uh, certainly when I, when I start selling mine out if I can very soon or get the, most of the components in I certainly don't want the, this pile of shite pointed at them and then, and then it'll be oh well oh, oh, you know he said it'd be all right that guy in California hmm. but I've just blown up with 300 pound laser jammer you know who's hold up and see I'll see you guys bye bye